Hi guys, welcome back. So from time to time here on the channel, I have people asking me uh, what products I use to clean and lubricate my firearms. Uh, so for this video, I've got uh, most of everything that I've been using, some for a very long time, some are new products, uh, but this is basically what I've been using to clean and lubricate all of my firearms. We're gonna take a closer look at these and I'm gonna kind of uh, talk about each one and what I use it for and you know, show you the ones that I've been using for a long time and some of the new stuff and a product that I'm probably not gonna be using anymore and why. So let's take a closer look. All right, so like I mentioned, some of these products I've been using much longer than the others. So the way I've got it laid out is all the way on the far left is the oldest product that I've been using, and then go all the way through to the newest product on the far right. Uh, so let's just go ahead and start with the product I've been using the longest and that is this Ballastol. Now, the Ballastol here is a CLP, which is a cleaner, lubricant, and protectant. And when I first started using this, I actually used it to clean and lubricate all of my firearms, and it did a really good job. There's a lot of people out there who swear by the CLP, and that's all they use, you know, cleaning and lubricating all of their different firearms, and it did a really good job. But as of right now, the Ballastol, pretty much all I use it for is uh, the cleaning of all of my different firearms. Now I know there's a lot of really, uh, really strong solvents and stuff out there that people like to use to get their guns super squeaky clean. Uh, but for me, you know, I normally don't go in, you know, that in depth on cleaning my firearms. Uh, you know, I usually just spray it down with Ballastol, let it break everything down, wipe it off with a rag, and I call it good. And that's always worked out for me. Now, if I get a gun, you know, that's you know up in the thousands of rounds on the round count or something, I might do a real deep cleaning or something like that. Uh, but normally, it's just a you know spray it down with Ballastol, wipe it down, and call it good. Now moving on from the Ballastol, we've got the Slip 2000 EWL, which is Extreme uh, Weapons Lubricant, and it is an oil, and it is sort of a thicker oil than a lot of them you're gonna find out there on the market, so it does uh, stay put a little better than some other oils out there, but again, just like all the other oils out there, it will run, like if you clean your guns, lubricate them up, put them in the safe, uh, when you go to take them out, you know, you're going to have the oil you know, all pooled up in the bottom of the slide or whatever, things like that. Uh, but as far as how it works, is it, it's an excellent oil. And as of right now, to date, it is my favorite gun oil out there on the market. It does an extremely good job. Uh, it doesn't burn off like a lot of your lighter oils do. Uh, you, you can put a lot of rounds through any particular firearm before uh, you need to reapply things like that. So it is a very, very good oil. And when I do have a gun, that I need to use oil on, that's definitely what I'm going to. Very, very good oil. Now, you know, I probably used that Slip 2000 oil for, I don't know, a couple years maybe. And then I started getting into the all metal frame SIGs, I don't know, about a year ago or something like that. Um, and when I first got into those, you know, all the stuff it came with, all the things people talked about was they recommended using grease on it. And in particular, they recommended using the Slip 2000, or sorry, the uh, Milcom TW25B, uh, which is a, you know, a synthetic grease. And unlike a lot of the other greases out there, this is actually a fairly uh, thin grease. Uh, but when you apply it, you know, you, you kind of, I guess, massage it more or less into the metal parts and it just kind of works its way in and kind of leaves a nice slick film on it and it does a really good job. So this was the first, um, I guess, experience that I had using an actual grease. Up until then, I've always used oils and you know, like I said, had really good luck. Uh, but when I started using that Milcom product, I realized um, that you know, I could clean my guns and put them in the safe and when I got them back out, you know, this stuff doesn't run anywhere. There wasn't any type of oily mess and you know, it really kind of got me hooked on using gun greases and I, you know, I used this for a while for you know six, eight, nine months, however long it was that I had uh, those SIG pistols with really good luck. Um, but then, you know, all the time on, you know, different, uh, you know, different channels, places on the internet, people always talked about using thicker greases and how they were better for this, how they were better for that, and, and you know, and things like that. So I decided to, uh, you know, go a little further with the grease and get something a little thicker. And that's when I went with the Slip 2000 EWG, which is their extreme weapons grease. And this does have a much thicker consistency. And I'll try to show you if you guys can probably see that. It almost has has a Vaseline type consistency so it is a very thick grease and I was using it and again this one did you know, a very good job I bought it in the jar and then I also have this little syringe which I did have one for the uh, Milcom as well the syringes are really good for getting down in your slide rails and things like that 
Now, uh, you know, up for the past few months or however long it's been, maybe a little longer than that, I've been using the Slip 2000 grease and it works really well. You don't have to apply a whole lot of it. You can just get little dabs, put it on your slide rails, things like that and uh, you know it'll kind of uh, put a nice light film over everything and of course doesn't run and did a really good job lubricating but I guess a potential issue that I might see with the slip 2000 grease or any grease that has that type of thick consistency um, here recently I decided to do a torture test on a couple of my pistols the SIG P320 Compact and the Glock 19 and if you haven't seen those videos I'll leave links down below so you guys can check those out but after I did those uh, torture tests and you know both of them ran really really good I was really impressed with the results that I got out of both of those tests uh, but during those tests I had everything lubricated with that uh, slip 2000 grease now you know, of course I did have a couple failures in a couple of the tests um, you know, with both pistols and but, the, but when I got home and had to take everything apart you know take every little single piece apart in those guns um, I noticed something with this heavier heavier grease this this EWG grease and that was that you know, it seemed like all the little uh, sand particles and the in the little little particles of dirt uh, that got down inside the gun was kind of collected in this thicker grease you know where I had grease on the rails or grease here or grease there that's where it seemed like a majority of the sand and the dirt were kind of collected in this thicker grease now like I said I had pretty good luck um, in both of those tests with both of the pistols they did a really good job they did have some failures when we got into the thicker stuff like the mud and all of that and you kind of made me wonder that if I was using uh, a thinner grease like the Milcom or even the oil if I would have had those issues you know maybe the gum would have ran a little bit better if the dirt and particles and stuff hadn't collected like they did in that thicker grease so I think I'm gonna kind of stay away from the thicker greases right now like that EWG I'm probably gonna go back to using just the Milcom as my lubricant and again you know I'm gonna keep using the ballast all for my cleaner but I'm gonna go back to the Milcom and kinda of keep an eye on it and see um, you know how it does as far as you know not cleaning it for a while if it gets kinda of dirty in there see if it collects uh, in that type of grease which I don't think it is because that that Milcom is like I said a very thin grease it goes on very thin it just kinda of coats everything so I don't think I'm gonna have an issue with that um, but like I said I don't know if I did have an issue with that real thick grease but it kind of uh, rose a red flag for me and I'm gonna you know probably stay away from it for now Alright guys, so there's a quick look at the different cleaners and lubrications that I've been using. Uh, you know, like I said, some longer than others. Uh, but if you have any questions or comments about any of these products or anything else you see here on the channel, ask in the comment section below and I'll do my best to get back with you. And as always, I appreciate everybody watching. I appreciate everybody subscribing. And we'll catch you in the next one.